ba 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 bam uh, usually there's some stuff like over here but uh, I don't know again this is still here don't tell me there's another one now what is this shaving cream what the hell is this my goodness gracious great balls of Koksaki. we finally 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 have new motu <laughs> Ding dong, you might as well call me Ronnie Connecticut because daddy's heading back to Stanford. 21 Broad Street Target up first here today in what will most likely be the only stop of the day here today. I also plan to hit both Walmarts over in Norwalk at some point over the course of this hunt. I am just finishing up my daily walk. Shout out to everybody that have been watching the toy walk videos. Star Wars Black Series G.I. Joe classified, no new Motu. You guys know the drill, so let's go. Target Stanford, 21 Broad Street, Dinos. Pyro Raptor, this is definitely new, Jurassic World. Take a look at that. Couple of them here. This Hammond collection, I have mentioned this. I mentioned it most recently in the last premiere of the hunt video that I dropped. Shout out to everybody that joined the premiere. I am really tempted by this guy, this T-Rex. Looks like there are a couple of them here today. Pretty cool, nice selection of the Hammond collection here. At 21 Broad Street, Buzz Lightyear. This gets a lot of shelf time and space. It's gonna get a ton of shelf time because I don't know how many people are buying that. Uh, Mo2, no new. Bunch of Beastmans. Didn't call it Beastmaster this time, so that's that's improvement, that's progress. That's all we can ask for in life, right? TVC, all the same stuff we've seen before. Got some Rogue One, Antoc Merrick, a whole peg of them. And of course, Archive Wave 6. Leia Town, or that's not Wave 6, is it? No, that's not, it's, I think Wave 5. Just confusing my peg warmers. Series 92 Scarlet, some Series 15, we got a Luger Chase, no we do not. And for Ultimates, that Mr. T is awesome, we picked him up the other week, and a whole load of Batistas. And moving on over to the random end cap, nothing really too interesting there. Let's check, Marvel Legends, G.I. Joes, DC, what do we got? Slinking into Marvel Legion. Vulcan, empty space, got Masterverse for whatever reason here, dying on the vine, and Joe's, what do we got, still our collection of gung-hos and Origins Baroness, will never go away, got some Love and Thunder Thor, this is a great two-pack, Batman Hush, uh, Clayface, Titan Joker, not really... Ooh, as I was about to say, I'm not seeing anything too new. The Black Adam Hawkman. Wow, this is actually very cool. That mace is so good. Wow. Brand new, folks. Let's uh, take a look at the back here. Very nice. That is nice. Got some pretty nice presents to it. I'll t say that. Atom Smasher, also new. First time seeing this. Very cool. And Cyclone. Excellent. Line these guys up so you guys can see. I'm putting most of these back. I think I might take that Hawkman. Not entirely sure. Not entirely sure, but that is very cool to see right there. Very, very cool to see back and yeah well, he was sitting right here so I don't know what I'm gonna do with him he's got some nice weight to him too um, some transformers 
legacy collection, a lot of stuff we have seen already before. Yeah. And, oh, sorry, buddy. And what else do we have? This end cap. A bunch of Tikas, Obi Wan, and Lonely Lando. And let's flip around just to see what's over here. Anything? Nope. Nothing over here. And sometimes there's an end cap. The music here is blaring. Goodness gracious. Nope, just tech deck. Some die cast, which we've seen before. All right, why don't we go check the NECA section, see what's going on down there. It's usually a ransacked mess. And we've made it to the crazy messy NECA section here at 21 Broad Street. Manga Spawn hanging out, Raven Spawn, Haunt from Wave 3. Gotta still have a stack of, I guess, leftover Holothon turtles, NECA TMT. This, again, this is still here. Don't tell me there's another one now. What is this? Shaving cream. What the hell is this? There's an open bottle of shaving cream. This is next level with a fugitoid sitting inside it. Why? It is, I guess, is this a uh, new diorama here in the NECA section? Holy, what the hell? Another fugitoid back there. I just got shaving cream on my freaking finger. Jeez Louise. And then House of Cards into the shaving cream. This is a disaster. This is a... Disaster. Pick this up. All right, we're done here. I have more than I've bargained for. Shaving cream, back row on the floor. We got some NECA TMNT. I am getting the hell out of here. Day two is upon us. We are about to step into 650 Main here in Norwalk, Connecticut, Wally World. That's up next. Right after that, we are hitting 680 Connecticut Avenue in Norwalk to check out that Wally World. And then we're getting coffee at Donut Delight. You already know what it is. So let's go. Can we please find something new? I'm on. Here we are. We finally made it. 650 Main here in Norwalk. Take a look at these Black Adam Pops. First time seeing these. Pretty cool. A Walmart exclusive there. And moving over into NECA land. Any new NECA 2-packs? Nope. We've got a Splinter and Shredder hanging around. The best action for the clan. Couple of these still here. And I haven't been here in a while, I would say at least, man, I don't even know, two, three weeks? Well, more than two weeks. It's been close to a month. Nothing really all too new here. Random assortment of NECA, Back to the Future, King Kong, some aliens, and that's it. So why don't we go check the main toy aisle and see what's going on over there. Approaching the main toy aisle here. 650 main. Dinos have been occupying this end cap for at least the past couple of months. Same stuff from the last time I was here. Nothing all too new. And then slinking on in into some other dinos. This is all looking very similar to the last time we were here. What's this? Jurassic World. Oh, this is new. Deluxe Discovery Lab activity set. That is new. There are a bunch of them here. Extreme Damage, this is also new, at least new to me. Uh, Transformers, what do we got? Sandstorm, this is cool. Um, Cheetor, a couple of Cheetors. Yeah, nothing all too crazy. Buzzsaw, as far as Transformers go down here ultra magnus let's dig down in deep into the shelves here yeah, i don't see anything that stands out at me that looks new just looks messy but not new uh flipping around what do we got wrestling let's start with wrestling here once flipped over got a mangled bray white Ooh. An unpunched Hogan. 
another one. This is the second unpunched Hogan I've ever found. This one, this one looks good too. Don't see any veining on it. No bends, the card looks crisp. Wow, interesting. We've got the Mattel Superstars WWE. Wave one, another unpunched Hogan, wow. Flare down here. He's over a bit. Um, let's put that down there for now. I might take another unpunched Hogan, honestly. Unpunched Bray Wyatt. Cool. Got the Ecto One down there. Kenner Classics. Let's see. Motu. No, new Motu. Oh, there is new Motu. <laughs> there is new Motu. Finally, yes. Let's check out this Merman. Oh my goodness, I actually really wanted to see what this guy looked like in person. I was, I, oh man, this is awesome. Where's He-Man and Skeletor? I don't know. Oh my God, Skeletor's right here. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I can't even talk. So we're just missing He-Man. He must have been here. Picked. Oh man, maybe he's at 680? Yes, bro. Yes. And another unpunched Hogan. What the hell is going on here? Uh, got the Walmart exclusive. Panthor flocked. Um, what else? Motu. Let me put these down somewhere. I guess I'll just I'll leave them here for now. Nobody is here at the moment. I will be guarding those pretty heavily. Evil Lin. Wow, that was awesome. Finally, new Motu. My goodness gracious. Beyblade. Some Pokemon, Buzz Lightyear stuff. What else do we got going on over here? This is new, Monster Hunters, Doctor Doom. Interesting, Black Panther. Interesting, first time seeing that. Look at that Thanos, pretty cool, not bad. You also have got cap not for me but cool to see that rhymed uh dc same old stuff i think this armored bat has been here for like at least nine months and this is all stock from a few months ago for sure batwoman unmasked and then star wars what do we get i guess lando yep probably the same lando from a month ago and leia <laughs> not much else going on here just check the TVC for you guys. Lando, Lando, Lobot, Lando. And my hero has got Stain. Shoto Ozawa. What else? I think that's going to do it, folks. Got some Mario and Sonic over here. Some Hot Wheels Mario Kart. Pokemon cards. Appa from Avatar. Interesting. And I think that's going to do it, folks. But the main attraction here, my goodness gracious, great balls of Kaksaki. We finally, finally, finally have new Motu. 680 Connecticut Avenue with the music ba 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 blaring. Dinos, very light there. Uh, usually there's some stuff like over here, but uh, I don't know, thing but not today. Uh, just looking light on the everything. Let's get into wrestling here. It looks like this Mattel WWE Superstars Wave 1 is restocking big time. No Hogan's, Chuck Taylor, AW. Wow, look how empty that is. That is crazy. The entire one side, look at this. Look at the, in the Vanna, my Van, best Vanna White impression. Look at that, terrible. I mean, I'd say this is primed for a restock, no? Uh, good Lord. Uh, let's go back over here, sorry. Didn't mean to lose track of uh, nothing, I guess, but um, Transformers. Braun, 
I think he's relatively new, right? Wheeljack. I feel like I ask the same questions to myself <laughs> about Transformers every hunt, Grindor and Ravage. That's cool. That's definitely new. Let me get you guys a closer look at that. Pretty cool. Um, next strike. What else? Moving on down into the rest of nothing. Wow, man, this is crazy. Look at all the Star Wars Black Series archive. Whoa. I mean, I... I'd like to believe there's stuff in the back, you know, because it's obviously not out on the floor and there's no way that it can be this, this empty. Cue the uh, cricket noises. Man, this is, this is it. We are uh, gonna go get some coffee. I'm really glad we found new Motu at 650 because this, if this was in both stores, I legitimately would have been <laughs> a little upset. You already know what it is. Ba 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 bam. Mix and start. It's been a while. Mmm. 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 Oh, it's. Oh, it's also all over the. It's all over the cup. Oozing froth. This is next level froth here today. This is very good. It's all over my freaking every... Mm. Mm. <sighs> for all that. Well, folks, good thing for 650 Main because 680 Connecticut Avenue, as you guys just saw the last store we were in, that Walmart is a barren wasteland, a barren Corbin wasteland. It is absolutely empty. Looks like 650 has all the inventory. I don't know. It's like it took all of it. I don't know what's going on. I'm assuming 680 is probably primed for a reset right now. Um, so that should be coming soon. We will keep an eye on that store in the upcoming weeks. It's been a while since I've been to both of these Walmarts. Uh, and in, in a minute, we're going to get into, I'm going to show you guys um, a closer look at some of the Motu pickups. Finally, new Motu. It's here. It's finally here. We found it at Wally World. I had a feeling we were going to find either Motu or Joe's at Wally World. Shout out to my buddy Ken Austria, who just found um, some new Eternia figs at a Wally World, closer to where we uh, both live over in New York. I had to come to Connecticut to find them here. Um, and it seems like, for whatever reason, uh, the new Eternia stuff and even Joe Classified Wave 8 seems like it's been hitting uh, Wally World over Target recently and in recent weeks from what I've seen, you know, friends, other folks in the community. Uh, so this was, this was great to find these two. Um, quick update, man cave update. Uh, the permit has been approved. I did post that on the community tab on the channel. So for those that aren't aware, um, I officially have, uh, Approval from my town to go through with uh, my basement, thankfully, because I we started the framing already a few months ago. It has been a lengthy process that really has just begun, but I'm I'm very happy that it's taken the amount of time it's taken, even just to to really get going, because it's given me extra time to figure out and map out my cabinet configuration and really the layout of the room. That has, that has taken me a considerable amount of time to, to really figure out. Um, again, I think with all the different kinds of stuff that I have, uh, the things that are coming out, the things I have on pre-order, the things that I want to pre-order, uh, it's just, it's a lot. There are a lot of variables, a lot of things to consider. I want to do it once. I want to do it right. Um, not worried about, I mean, the room itself, obviously it's framed. Um, I know what I'm using material-wise for the flooring and lights, it really just comes down to cabinets. And I've mentioned this on this channel before. Shout out to my buddy Fat Kung Fu. I know he feels the same way. We were chatting about this just the other day. That rhymed. Hey, hey. Um, less is more, you know. Uh, I have trimmed down my action figure collection exponentially over the course of the past couple of years because uh, of the fact that I don't have a display and um, I need to be aware of my space with storage and uh, overall, I just don't want to be all over the place with my collection. I personally, there's no right or wrong way to collect as long as you have the funds to collect. The only wrong way to collect is if you're spending money you don't have, in my opinion. Don't do that. Um, otherwise, you know, you collect what you like and that's it. 
and enjoy it. That's the biggest thing, to enjoy this. Whether you're enjoying making a YouTube channel to do it or you're enjoying collecting or both, just enjoy it um, within, within your means. Uh, but so, and that's what I like to live by, but I also make my own rules uh, for myself as far as my collection aesthetically the way I want it to look and shape and feel and you know focus on the things that that I love the most um and so that's what I've been really cognizant of over the past few years more than ever really um it's it really everything the primary driver for me is nostalgia and uh, I collect for that uh both statues and action figures everything cards trading cards um which I collect heavily and, uh, you know, when it comes to Marvel, for instance, um, that is a property, that's a license that uh, is super nostalgic for me. It's a top three property of mine. I love Marvel Comics, always have, always will. Marvel trading cards, especially, and 90s action figures mean the most to me when it comes to Marvel. So because of that, I have recognized that and I've been having this feeling for a while. I, I'm not going to jump into, I already have, I just sold it actually. One of the one third scale statues, I have the Thor, Legendary Beast uh, Thor, sold that. Um, I was going to get the Hulk, Tony, uh, Venom, Thanos, all the new reveals that came out. I believe they all passed approval, I wanna say. Um, and I was gonna get all of those, uh, but I decided, I opted not to because I wanna keep my collection more focused. And while I would love to own that stuff, absolutely love to own that stuff, that line looks absolutely incredible. Some of the best Marvel statues I think we'll ever see is in that line. Um, so while it somewhat pains me to ha step away from that, um, I think it'll be so much better for my statue room where I'm really going to focus on my one main true love in the statue realm, which is sci-fi horror. So, uh, and, and, and I also just don't simply want to have my room up. It's finally up and ready. And then I fill it all up and then I'm all, already playing the space game. Like, I don't want to do that. Like to me, collecting is not about buying a bunch of stuff and filling a room and filling a space and that's it. You know, it's like the one thing that I feel like I've learned and controlled and honed and developed uh, as far as my collecting ability or skill or whatever you want to call it goes, yeah, I mean, collecting to me is an art, you know? So um, eventually, you know, it's not going to take very long for me to fill up that room uh, once it's up as big as it is. Uh, but I want to enjoy having some extra space and some extra time to let things come out, other things come out, other lines, whether it's statues, action figures, um, for me to make decisions on rather than just buying a bunch of stuff that I, you know, that I know is cool that will fit and work, but you know, does it make the most sense for what I'm doing? That's what I always ask myself. Uh, a lot of walks uh, outside for me, my daily walks that I go on, I think about it a lot. Uh, you know, it's a time for me to decompress and I uh, think about a lot of things. The collection is one of them and the room is one of them. So um, I've realized that Marvel nostalgia for me comes from Toy Biz Marvel, older action figures and the trading card stuff that I've collected my entire life. I've been collecting the grading cards. I've been in the grading cards game for a very long time now. Shout out to my buddy, the graded gamer. Um, she's the best. Most of my collection comes from her. Um, so, and that's always going to be there in the toy room that, you know, we're setting up. Uh, I don't think that I need Marvel statues um, in my life uh, as cool as they are. Um, and as much as I'd love to have them, it just doesn't make sense for me. So uh, going to step away from that stuff. Um, so my statue collection is going to be, well, I already have a huge Lord of the Rings collection, Prime 1. Um, I have a Berserk collection that is growing, also Prime 1. I have uh, Predator uh, one-third scale statues um, from Prime 1. Uh, the big Prime 1 collection, statue collection. Um, and the Berserk is a mix of third scale and quarter scale. That's the only time where I think it could work because I, those both lines are full of masterpieces there. And I'm, I'm almost thinking of just doing like, you know, having like Guts Black Swordsman here or whatever here is. I don't know. Guts Black Swordsman over here, third scale. Next to that, the Black Swordsman, uh, quarter scale. The, the quarter scale, they're both very different in art, design, and concept. Um, and then do the same thing for they have a new Rage edition of the Berserker Armor Guts coming out. So I'm going to do that next to my Berserker Armor quarter scale. I think that'll look really cool. Um, they'll, I think they're going to release, you know, 
probably a bloody variant of Nosferatu Zod in quarter scale based on the original one that they have. And they're crazy enough to do them in third scale, so I'm waiting for that. So we're going to have a Berserker wall. Berserker? Berserk wall, Lord of the Rings collection wall. Uh, some Predator stuff, and then I want to leave. And then and I have my third scale Batman a couple of pieces, uh, which are all very gritty. And Batman Damned is horror, basically. Uh, not basically, it is. Um, and my Dark Knight piece. I have both of those. I have the Batman... Uh, Jim Lee cover art on pre-order. I don't know, you know, if I'm going to keep that. I do want to keep it, but we'll see. Uh, but then I have a whole extra space for either the new PCS Turtles line, or, you know, I would love to get like a third scale pumpkin head at some point, you know, some horror statues uh, to mix in to the fold. But I just, I want to have some blank canvas. And, uh, and so that's where the Marvel stuff, to me, it's just, I wouldn't have liked the way it would have looked. Even though it would have worked, I would have had Marvel on one side with my Batman with DC, and then on the other side would have been Lord of the Rings, and then uh, my Predator, Berserker stuff. Uh, Berserker, I keep saying it. Berserk stuff. I just, it's like, eh, I'd rather have the whole room a bit more focused, and you're like, a bit more focused? You just name like three or four things, yes, but it's, for me, focus isn't just the property. It's the genre, the art direction, art concept, and design of everything, and I do think by eliminating the Marvel statue piece of it, it'll be better. And, you know, I don't think Marvel stuff is going anywhere anytime soon. So if I ever wanted to jump back into it, uh, Marvel statues, I could. You know, I'm not really too concerned about that. Um, again, you know, we've talked about it before on this channel. Um, the influence, the influence of others, whether it's friends, YouTubers, influencers, whoever, you know, it's like Marvel stuff is just out there, a ton of it out there. I'm a comics guy, not an MCU guy. So when I see the the comic accurate statues and stuff that's out there, it's clearly very popular stuff. You see a lot more of that than you really do anything else in regards to statues and the popular things, other things like anime, you know, I feel like very just niche things, genres. Um, you don't get nearly as much um, of... Uh, a sample um, from others. There aren't a ton of other channels. I feel like doing certain things like Marvel, you know? So I feel like I've been heavily over the years influenced by that, and uh, which is fine. It's great. But um, I don't want my collection to look or feel like anyone else's. I don't want uh, to have things that I feel like if I'm not, if I'm going to pay a premium, a real premium for this stuff, I want to absolutely love it. So um, and make sure that I love the way it looks with everything else that I have. Anyway, let me know in the comments what you think of all that. New Motu, speaking of stuff that I love, New Motu. Uh, Merman, <laughs> we've got Revelation here and New Eternia. This Revelation Merman is awesome. Really, this was one of the highly anticipated figures for me with the new wave. It's finally here. Wally World pickup, $21.67. Sorry about the glare, of course. But he looks great. I, I I really, really love this. Really, really love this. And then we've got, where is he? We have the new attorney of Skeletor. And this is also freaking phenomenal I love his I love his tunic, his neck plate and his pauldrons here I just really like the character design love the armor design his helmet is great he's got the cheek guards like a real old school plated helm a knight's helm there that he's got, you know, painted in purple. Looks really good with some, uh, a lighter purple accent around the, around the helmet, like the edges of the helmet itself and in the front. Very Horde-esque, uh, I should just be showing you guys, very Horde-esque chest plate there that wraps into his pauldrons. Very cool. You can see it actually looks like on camera it looks it almost looks like silver but i think it's a lighter purple in the front of his helmet and then of course you get the darker you know the dark purple and the rest of it you get the alternate head sculpt there 
and of course his staff. So really, really cool stuff. Back of it. I do like the, the new Eternia uh, lettering as well. And we picked up one more uh, because how often are we seeing this? So I picked up one more Unpunched Hogan Mattel Series 1. I just got shout out to my buddy John at Toy Wiz who uh, got my other Unpunched my only Unpunched Hogan at the time uh, signed by Hollywood himself just came in today he just sent it to me sorry that I'm, I'm all over the place here he just sent me a pic um of it so uh came in sign looks uh, the autograph looks great it's on the bubble um i did want him to uh, it would have been cool to have him sign it over at the top of the um wwe superstars uh logo on top but i think it would have been hard to see even in silver so but it would have been really hard to see in black um, and then we're running out of color, so, <laughs> uh, but it looks good on the, uh, it looks good on the bubble. Very happy about that. Thank you, John. Um, as far as the rest of this hunt goes, wow, completely forgot about this. Um, I think we will hit, uh, Target in White Plains on the way home, maybe GameStop in Greenberg, and then we're going to call it a hunt. So, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this coffee talk. Let me know in the comments, what do you guys think of all this stuff, the pickups, uh, the man cave talk, the collection talk. It's been a while since we've done one of these. Happy to be back. Sliding on in, Target, White Plains, Beyblade, Bay 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 Bakugan, you already know what it is. Wow, wrestling is, look at that, a sea of AEW. Let me dig in here a little bit and go chase hunting. Let's see, this is packed, 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 packed. Same old, same old stuff so far. Just a bunch of young bucks and Lance Archers and random McFarlane toys. Oh, is one of this? I think one of these is the Chase. Right? Yes. One of these is definitely the Chase. No? It's funny I see these all the time and let's freak out if it's the black one or the red one. Dropping stuff. Dropping stuff. Will it go back up there? Yes. So one of these is definitely I feel like the chase. I don't know. I'll figure that out, but let's keep moving. For now, wrestling legend series 15. Some Stacy Keeblers. Big E back there and the uh, Jimmy Hart build up figure wave. Costco Reeves, a whole peg, I guess, of Costco Reeves. And Ultimates, Mr. T, and Hulk. Got the Hulkster. A lot of Hulkster here. It's nice to see. Uh, moving on over, Star Wars. Rogue One is packed here. So Rogue One is clearly hitting my area along with the new Obi-Wan wave. Much teeth is. Uh, archive mini collection of light. It is muggy as hell in here. I think the AC is broken. So it feels like it's 99 degrees in this place right now. I'm getting a great sweat. Just FYI. Same old Motu. No new Motu here, but somehow we found new Motu today. <laughs> Trap jaw down there. King Grey Skull. Just some stuff that we will see on clearance very soon. And then flipping around into Joe's, Rangers, and DC. Got more Black Adam, Hawkman. This is a great figure. This is this has got some nice weight to it, too. To it, too. There he is. The man himself. Oh, rock cereal. Manga Spawn hiding back there. Two of those. So this place is freshly stocked. No diggity. Hazmat suit. Seen that before. Batman Bruce Wayne. Lex Luthor, I think this is the, uh, yep, gold label. So, fresh stock of DC, gold label, Martian Manhunter. A couple of those. Some Joe Reaccione. I've seen that stuff before. Gold label hat. Oh, Dark Detective gold label. That's cool. That's very cool and new to see. Three of them here, Target, White Plains. Got Mr. Freeze, 66. Batman, 66. 
lot of new stuff here. A lot of new stuff. Let's see, Transformers, bunch of cups, Cooper cups, windowless stuff, and this heroic maximal Dinobot. It's looking pretty cool. And let's see, Dinos, Hammond collection, things we have seen before, Triceratops up there, Dr. Alan Grant. I don't know how many times I've seen him. Where's Hammond himself? I don't know. Not here. T-Rex. This is awesome. I say it every time. Every time. Will that ever hit clearance? Let me know in the comments what you guys think of that. Uh, let's go check the random end cap that usually has Marvel Legends. Those have been cleared out here. Target White Plains. And replaced with Pokemon. Let's check the other side. Yep, Mario, Hot Wheels diecast stuff. Let's take the back route to the NECA section. Anyone is interested, we also have 20% off on all bubble toys. All right, let's see. NECA, here we come. What do we got? What do we got? We got... Same old pop selection here. A glow in the dark Star Wars. Um, this is new. The Batarang replica are new to this store for sure. And too bad we can't see it. So, Halloween kills. Oh man, ultimate. I have this. Look how good that is. That is so good. Restock on leather head. Don't say leather face. Leather face. What am I saying? It is Leatherface. Mixing up my turtles and my horror. I need to go home. This is very cool, and this is brand new. Runner Alien. From NECA. Wow. Packaging is really nice, too. I mean, NECA is second to none with their Alien product, for sure, man. Snake Alien, let's see. This is, I love Snake Alien. First time getting a peep at this. Packaging looks great. This is excellent, man. This is so good. Here's the uh, whole line. Need that Dutch. Love to get Prime One to do a statue of Dutch Arnie. We got a couple more snakes up here. This thing is awesome, man. I really. I like that. Gremlins 2-pack is also excellent. Neck is, neck is killing it. I really like that Chucky plush too. Got some Kessler wolves, wolves as well. And I think that's gonna do it for Target White Plains. Some new stuff here, new stock here at Target White Plains. So any of you local guys, come on down. And that is gonna do it for this hunt. I am just getting out of the gold mine GameStop, which as much as it has had incredible stock all year long, to the point where I named it Goldmine GameStop several months back, uh, not so much today, to the point where anything I filmed in there is not going to make the cut of this video. You guys already saw a pretty empty Wally World over Norwalk. At least one out of the two Wally Worlds in Norwalk was pretty empty today. It's enough of the empty stores, I think, for this hunt. However, with that said, we did finally find new Motu and Target White Plains. The last Target that we visited here today on this hunt was stocked with all sorts of stuff. New Star Wars Black Series, new McFarland DC. The NECA section was nice and fully stocked with plenty of NECA horror and Alien. Uh, some really good stuff at that store. WWE Ultimates, Mattel Ultimates. We saw uh, a ton of Hulk Hogan, which is awesome to see. Um, part of me wants to buy another one and get that signed maybe somewhere down the road, but I'm not going to go crazy with the signing stuff. I already got my Mattel Superstars Hogan signed. But anyway, I digress. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of all the finds and the pickups. Finally, new Motu. Like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I will catch you on the next hunt. Peace. Uh -huh.